your beloved Nikon D700 has something called picture control. And that is the ability to apply a profile to the picture as it's being taken. So instead of sitting and working in post-processing in Lightroom or Photoshop, whatever is to your liking, you can actually have a certain profile applied to the image in the camera. And a good question, I guess, is what, couldn't you just do this in post-processing? Yes, you could, but there is something about getting the image right in the camera. And if that is to your liking, then maybe picture control could be something for you. If you're using Nikon software, NDX, I believe it's called, uh, then you can work with the image also in RAW format, including the profile applied. I haven't got the NDX software installed because my PC and the NDX software did not agree. So I had to uh, uninstall it and therefore I'm using Lightroom and Photoshop. And in those cases, RAW and the profiles from the picture control, I can make it work. Uh, maybe you can, please let me know in the comments, but I can make it work. So I apply the picture control to JPEGs. And here I'm doing backups of uh, images from 2021. And uh, I can say I, <laughs> I'm slightly motivated for shooting more on JPEGs with, with all the time it takes to, to back up RAW files. In this video, I will show you how to work with the picture control. I will show you some examples. And I will also show you where you can download some profiles, some new fresh profiles, so you don't have to use the four that the camera came with, but you can actually load some new ones. You can also edit uh, profiles in the camera. That's a little bit too advanced for me. I like to do it on the PC, so it's I, I find it easier to work with. But if you are in the field, you can also uh, edit the profiles in camera. And I will show you where you do that, but I will not show you how you do that, because as I say, I don't use this part. I use the, the web page for downloading profiles. But let's get started. Please use the timeline down here to get to the sections that you want to get to. You can also unfold the table of contents in the description below. And uh, should you consider subscribing or even liking this video, that would be much appreciated. Thank you. So here in the menu system, I'm going into the shooting menu. And you can see a few steps down. I think it's in the second page here. You have two menu items that relate to picture control. One is set the picture control and the other one is manage. And if we take the set one, you can see if I go into that one, here you have one, two, three, four that are predefined or born with the camera. When the camera leaves the factory, you will have standard, neutral, vivid, and monochrome. And then I have loaded two profiles one called Kodak Porta Mono and two Alpha ones. And I will show you how that is done. There is a difference between these two. If I go into the standard one, you will see I can adjust both sharpening, contrast, brightness, saturation, and hue. And if I do that, if I change the hue, you will see there will be a little star next to the name of the profile. When I come out, you can see now it says SD and a little star. So that's why you can see if you have, you have changed the the standard profile. If I go in and look at one of the profiles that I have downloaded, let's take the ACFA Optima here. You can see I can't change as much as I can for the, the, the profiles the camera was born with. I can only change saturation, hue, and sharpening. So that's the difference between uh, what you load yourself and what the camera was born with. But otherwise you can treat these to your heart's content and uh, that's basically how the set picture control works. I will show you what the, the four uh, standard ones here and the, also one of the ones I have loaded, what it looks like in Lightroom in just a few minutes. If we take the manage picture control, this is where you can both create profiles. You can rename them, delete them and load them. I think working with profiles in the camera is a bit too complicated for me. You can see here, I can, if you take one of these profiles here, you can go in and then you can modify it to your heart's content. Uh, I think this is a little bit too advanced for me to be quite honest. So I prefer to do that via the homepage called Nikon PC. I will show you also how that works. Just be aware that you can actually go in here and, and create your own profiles if that is to your liking. So that's basically it. These two items here in the shooting menu, set picture control and manage picture control. That is simply where all the good stuff related to picture control happens. So here in Lightroom, I have a few profiles to show you. The first one, the standard, that's one of the four the camera is born with. The next one is neutral. 
Then you have Vivid, where there's more bang for the buck in terms of the colors. You have Monochrome, and then I have two profiles that I have downloaded. Uh, one is Kodak Porter Mono, and the other one is Agfa Optima. And if we just go in and take a look at these, just to compare them, if we take, for instance, and compare Neutral and Standard, you can see that there's a little bit more bang for the buck in terms of the colors when we're talking standard. If we compare neutral to vivid, you will see that you can see there's much more color here in the vivid one. And this is basically the way you see the change that the profile does its work on the image here. And they are all JPEGs. I don't know if you noticed that, but they are. And finally, I want to show you the monochrome, the last profile the camera was born with, together with the Kodak Porter Mono. And if you go in here and take a closer look, you can see, especially in, in the darker areas here of the image, there is a difference between these two profiles. So of course, which one you like, all subject to personal preference, but uh, you can apply these and get different results. So if you head over to Google and simply write Nikon PC for picture control, you can see the first that comes up here is the Nikon picture control editor and you just hit that one then you get into this page with uh, the picture control editor as it says here in the top there are some ads here in the top but otherwise uh, the good stuff is here within this frame here you can see you have a number of images you can you can test just scroll here left and right so you can see what they are you can choose let's say this lady here and you can see here in the bottom, you have the original. That one you can move around like this. And then you have here, you have the picture with the profile applied. And if I just show you here to the left here, you have a, a, a list of options to choose between. And uh, if we just take a mono profile here, you can see what that looks like when it's applied. If with a little bit of luck, it's not, it doesn't work for all images. You can choose between different image sizes or resolutions here um, but it's a little bit it's a little bit a game of of being lucky let me just see if i can find one where it works no then you have to reload the you have to reload the profile here and then give it a try and see yeah now it works you can see now i get a bigger picture and uh, if i just go down here and face the one we can move around and then you can see what it looks like when we compare the original and with the the profile supplied so let me take a black and white portrait you can see what that looks like and it gives a clearly a different feel to the image subject to what you choose over here we say wow that's some heavy colors if you ask me but you can play with this list here to your heart's content and see what uh, suits you the best. And even if you don't like this specific profile, you can actually go in if you say, yeah, I want to tweak this a little bit. So I want to I want to take perhaps and change the, make the image a little bit darker. You can do like that exactly so you get it the way you want it. Once you are happy, uh, you can click here and download and then you download the profile. Now that one you will load into your camera. I will show you how that is done. But let's just say number 04. This is not the slot number. This is just the file name. It will end with 04. You can load it into the slot number on your camera as you see fit. So don't worry about that. But give it a unique name. So when you download it, you can see here. Now I can say show in folder. It's a relatively small file. You can see one kilobyte. Um, so here it is. So it's a fast uh, download. And uh, now the, the profile here that I chose um, is implemented into this file here. So now we just need to get the file into the camera. And the way to get that done is you need to get this file over to your memory card or SD card for the D700. And as you can see, normally you have the DCIM. This is where I source the images. But you need to create a folder called Nikon. And in that folder, you need to have a folder called Custom PC custom picture control and in that one you can then take the file you have just downloaded and copy here and now the camera can actually see that there is a new profile so you can load it into camera 
I will show you how that is done. But that's all there is to it. So go to this homepage here, play with uh, the options here and see what you like and download a profile or more profiles that uh, suit you. So you load a new profile under Manage Picture Control and you find it here in the bottom of the menu, Copy to Camera. And if you select that one, you can see here I have the four files I can choose between. And I want to load number four, the Coda Gold that we just downloaded. And just to illustrate, instead of putting it in position four, I just put it in position six here. So you can see that the file name has nothing to do with where you put the profile in your camera. And here you can change the name. I normally keep the name. I just press OK. And then if I go back to set picture control to use the new profile, C6 that was, you can see if I scroll down, there it is, Kodak Gold 100 that we have just loaded into the camera. So that's how you do it. So there you have it. That was the Nikon D700 and picture controls. If you have other Nikon cameras, this, what you've learned from this video can be reused. I have, for instance, the Nikon Z6 Mark II. There you also have picture control. There are more profiles born with the camera, but you know the way of working with it and what it does is exactly the same. So I hope this video was useful. As always, happy shooting. Take care. Bye-bye.